on he goes Levi again Levi Rogers getting through the corner getting around the corner 24 for Charlie oh just balked on that one a little bit hit the line taken from him so uh, one of those other young guns has just squeezed in front of him I'll tell you what uh, pushed him back a fraction so uh, might be a placing in that one at the end or will it be one that he can quickly overcome we're about to find out so looking out for their uh, 8 to 11 Pro 65 racing brought to us by Forest Services and Training and I'm uh, unsure of just who that other rider was it was it uh, Colton uh, no, not sure we might find out Colton or uh, Nico anyway we'll uh, get a better opportunity to look uh, next out you only got a glimpse uh, we well got look take take an eye on number seven jumping in see the other riders going past and then watch what they're doing it's, it seems like they're almost sort of like a boat anchor just drags them down and uh, then you can see the fact that the front wheels go completely out of sight so that's massive ruts going down that far back straight they can think that they can still stay upright, still keep the power on, still keep on racing. It's absolutely mind blowing what these guys are doing. Hey, shout out still to our mini, still going hard, still going over on the little track, sitting back on their start line. The additions that mini track, uh, more adventure, more uh, thrills uh, for the kids over there. Uh, they also, of course, have their uh, long uh, double back uh, straight going up the fence line there. They've got a now got a longer start. The uh, mini area just getting uh, bigger and stronger and uh, better than ever before. So. Uh, Shout out to our uh, mini fam. Here we go, 24, 24 all the way. Go, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, 24. Here we are now. Looking out for uh, double one, two. So, uh, uh, Levi in front, Charlie in second, and it's Finn Baker. Finn Baker on double one, two. The man to pick up back there, the Fogatani rider on the Rockwell Leishman Electrical Luca Trailers machine. So, uh, go, Finn. Finn Baker. Then as we watch the next few riders going past, we'll have Colton Whibley, Jack Bemington and Cameron Travers. with no uh, mini racing tomorrow we'll be joined by uh, Brad to give us a uh, excellent uh, update of uh, racing here as part of the Turbo Sound commentary team as well so between the two of us hopefully we might be uh, a little bit more uh, uh, outward as it were and being able to pick up a few uh, 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 shall we say interviews probably or we'll get, a, get to have a chat anyway with a few of the riders tomorrow as well so uh, hoping many of you will be staying on coming back for it Hey, you've already paid a camping fee, the cheapest camping you'll find out an outdoor holiday and the kids can still stay at motocross tomorrow. And maybe at the end of the day you could take them down to Ahupi or the likes and uh, give them a uh, swim. I'm sure it'll be better weather tomorrow. But Or even just going along here to Matata will be much closer as well. But anyway, you get the idea. Still to get the best of life and the uh, great part of a holiday by uh, staying with us for a little bit longer. You'll love it. I think that's the last of the rain that's gone, so it should be a better night tonight as well. One of the things about a little bit of moisture through the pits as well, it, uh, it sort of just got that, it's not the, the dirt or the dust or the uh, sort of the walk around that uh, feels uh, a little bit funny, but uh, it'll be just a very pleasant pit environment, I'm sure, and the kids can have a whole lot of fun still on their push bikes and playing around, playing bull rush like they were last night. That brings back a few memories. All right, uh, 24 double one two. there's your two three uh, fight going on again. Still that advantage with... Uh, I'm sorry, now it's 3-4, my apology. That's uh, Charlie and Finn. So uh, Levi Nico are your 1-2 uh, at the moment. Well, to think of the excellence we've witnessed from uh, Nico this last year, incredible. We've never, ever had a Kiwi uh, victory at Loretta Lynn's in the past, and for Nico to do it this year is uh, absolutely sensational. So uh, world-class uh, junior motocross from that young man, and what a year. Put together an Australian title, put together a... Uh, uh, Loretta Lynn's title as well. You know, there's uh, even a whole lot of top end junior American riders that have uh, failed to win at a uh, Loretta's event. So, uh, mind blowing to say the least. So, well done. Uh, Nico Bahodin heading in the right direction at a young age. these amazing little bikes do well more importantly with the uh, lesser uh, wheel diameter and circumference of any of the other bikes that that's what they've got to do to find that uh, they can still get around on this track 
you know, when the guys are out there on one two fives and two fifties and they're making it look a little bit easier, holy Toledo, they've got a wheel a circumference that's two and a half times greater than that of a little 65. So uh, no wonder they can find the going easier. Whereas these guys, the front wheels just get buried in the ruts and to keep their balance, to keep the power on as they do, is just mind blowing for me. I love it, 65 racing, it is the uh, shiz. As we see one of them uh, getting away and pairing away and getting up the hill after his uh, disappointing start. So uh, that was uh, Nixon Tanner out of Tauranga on the YZ65. Go Nixon, good work, good work. All right, here we are, uh, 24 again. Go Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Charlie Hodgkinson to hold on to that to second place. Uh, sorry, third as it is again from uh, the uh, local star out here today, uh, Finn Baker for Rockall, Leishman Electrical and Luca Trailers. Good boys, they're the top four. So. Uh, Levi, Nico, uh, Charlie and Finn, your awesome foursome still to come, Jack, Colton, Jai and the rest. All right, here's your top 12 leaderboard uh, at the moment, so uh, Levi uh, Rogers, along with Nico Verhoeven, go to uh, Charlie Hodgkinson, ahead of Finn uh, Baker, uh, Jack Bimmigan uh, to uh, Colton uh, Wibley, Jai Gibson, uh, and then looking out to uh, Cameron uh, Travers. And then we've got uh, 103 in our lineup, uh, Cole Baker. And then back to uh, young uh, uh, Nixon Tanner as well. And uh, poor Nixon getting caught up down the ruts here. They literally had to pick his bike up and put him on up onto the green grass. They could not let it carry on. It was too deep in the rut for it to continue in that line. They literally had to pick it up and move it out. Oh, here we go with the uh, bike battle, bike battle going on, and uh, Levi, Levi, and some work to do. Change of the lead, change of the lead. So there is Nico. Nico's got the advantage. 26 for Nico Verhoeven. He should be the one to come back into view for you here. Looking out for the 26, the CML uh, KDM uh, SX uh, 65, and uh, Nico Verhoeven looking to get right around the outside of those uh, lappers. Getting up here into the uh, Honda corner. So makes it a, a right hander and a left hander. There he goes inside to outside. Oh, down he goes, just drops it the other rider. So that's allowed. Uh, Levi to go past, no, not sure what happened there. Looks to be A-OK. -okay. Good work, good work, picking up your bike. Oh, look at that, all the skills. He knew exactly how to do that. And look at that, when you stand to the side of your bike, the bike is two thirds of your body height. That is a massive exercise. Got the lovely Hero helmet on board there today. Kickley gets back on the bike, trying to get it started, but that's very hard to do. And of course, the thing you need to do is select and make sure you get that uh, neutral and then get away again. All right, so well done to 26 out there, of course, with uh, Nico putting in a great performance on that uh, O'Neill-supported uh, bike team. Well, CML, of course, have uh, chosen the range of O'Neill apparel, and I'll tell you what, we put uh, the likes of a Cody Cooper on board with the O'Neill view, you get an idea of just how cool the O'Neill kit is. Long time a, uh, a favourite of uh, many of the people, of course, as chosen as well by the PWR. A Paul Wibbly Racing Yamaha off-road race team now is chosen by CML race team. So becoming more and more popular all the time. The uh, uh, O'Neill range of race we are proud to be supporting the best teams and some of our best riders in the country. Bring it on with the CML and the O'Neill. All right, there we are. White flag time. White flag as we look out for the others to uh, race here. So 4 11 go. Levi on attack at the moment. So uh, Levi, can he pick up one more? Levi Rogers out there for Craig Stevens motorcycles. Yamaha JCR. Along with Yamaha Blue Group, Moto SR, FXR, Workshop Graphics, and Mum and Dad on the uh, YZ65 today. The very busy Levi Rogers. And I say busy because, like uh, Nico and some of the others, doing a 65 85 uh, double here today. I'll tell you what, we're not going to have this detour in tomorrow for the big guys, but one of the things is it meant that the, uh, the track on the infield has not got any worse because it has been roughed and rutted by these other bikes today, and I'm sure when we put the quality machinery on it, it may actually not come today. I think that the club may, I mean, see the, the forecast is still for the rain to come in the night, they're probably better off to wait and hope that it has stopped in the night, start to dry in the night, and when it comes out fine tomorrow, then be able to mould that dirt to shape. They'll know what to do, it's their dirt, it's their track, but uh, I'm sure with the, uh, everything on our side, a much better track for tomorrow, and I hope many of you come back to enjoy it and see the spectacle of our sport tomorrow. The likes of Davey Todd, who I did a rave about before, I love this guy, and I'm going to get to interview him uh, here tomorrow. He's a super guy, 
and uh, you can learn all about this guy. The Isle of Man, the Macau GP. Have you heard of the Macau GP? Man, man, there ain't nothing like it. It's a concrete wall race from hell. Anyway, to describe it, it's been one of the uh, more popular Asian events for a number of years. The Macau, Island of Macau. Probably know it from your geography lesson. But, uh, the Island of Macau coming to its own. It's just one of the tracks that he's done. And the way this man rode uh, supermoto and uh, super bike racing during the uh, recent Suzuki International Series is a, a real feather in his cap. All around nice guy, Mr. Davey Todd, joining the uh, Tony Reeves Motorcycles Yamaha race team tomorrow. Right, there we go, 411, 411, going hard, going all the way, but it's only good enough to be second because Nico's pipped him. Nico got the number one, so well done to Nico. 26, a margin in the end, next to nothing. Next to absolutely nothing. 5.2 seconds to think that the other guy has won a Loretta Lins and won an Australian title. Levi Rogers right on his doorstep, right on his tailpipe, hanging by it. When you do a race of... Uh, over uh, 10 minutes and uh, 50 seconds and in the end you come down to a five second buffer between the two places that is super close and exciting to say the least so uh, bring it on with more uh, great racing Here's an example of it, 323 and Paul Nixon, he just, see, he didn't get, he couldn't get up, he didn't have the momentum to get high enough on the boom to get the dry dirt at the top, but he was just about a metre down from that, and he was literally just wheel spinning his way through there, and the other rider literally was able to fly past him and pip him on the line. He'd be gutted with that. So a change coming up late in the moto there. So uh, there it is for uh, Nixon Tanner. Back in our motor. All right, Nico, Levi, Charlie, now your top three. We had Jack Bevin in a bit of a change there. Finn Baker was, was running hot. It wasn't fourth. Finished up back in seventh. So uh, Colton Whipley got the uh, fifth lead. And Jai Gibson to go to Finn Baker then in seventh, followed by Cameron Travis, Cole Baker, uh, Corbin Fletcher, and that little dynamic man, Nixon Tanner. Uh, showing uh, plenty of courage out there in his moto excellence today. Bring it on with the uh, forest services and the training on 0274 512 572. Remembering the forestry industry has uh, certainly been uh, uh, under a lot of scrutiny for their uh, uh, poor practices. But the only way to get it right is starting from the uh, basics, like forest service and training. A 